As you all know, friends, Panga has opened today, and Panga is the story of a middle-class mother who lives with her husband and little son, and who dares to dream. She's been a fantastic kabaddi player before marriage, but she gives it all up when she delivers her child after getting married. It's for her husband and her child that she gives up the game which she is so passionate about. Jaya Nigam is that girl, and now a lady played by Kangana Ranaut. Her husband. Prashant Sachdeva, that's played by Jassi Gill, and the little child is Adi, played by Master Yagya Basin. So they are a happy family, but suddenly this desire crops up in uh, Jaya Nigam's mind that why not try my hand at kabaddi? How this desire crops up, why she starts thinking on those lines, we shall not reveal here because that's part of the story, part of the screenplay, and whether Jaya Nigam. Realizes her dream of becoming a kabaddi player even after marriage, even after becoming a mother, after such a long break of so many years, does she realize her dream? That's what the crux of the story is. So, in a way, it's uh, a family drama, but it is also a story of uh, victory of the human spirit, and of course, it's a story of women empowerment. Let's first discuss the script. The story idea is of Foxstar Studios, and it has been fleshed out by Nikhil Mehrotra and Ashwini Iyer Tiwari. It's a wonderful story, a human drama, and therefore it would appeal to the viewer because everybody will see himself or herself in it. Majorly, the ladies, the ladies' audience will identify with the drama very well because it's about a married woman, a working housewife. She works, she manages the house, she has a husband, she has a child, and how she decides that she needs to do something because that's her inner calling. So every lady will identify with this story. It's a beautiful story. The screenplay. Has been penned by Nikhil Mehrotra and Ashwini Iyer Tiwari, with additional screenplay by Nitesh Tiwari. Similarly, for the dialogues, they are also penned by Nikhil Mehrotra and Ashwini Iyer Tiwari, with additional dialogues by Nitesh Tiwari. First, about the screenplay, it's a fabulously written screenplay because the first half keeps you totally in splits. You keep laughing because it's so light-hearted, but the message starts in the first half itself. The message of the drama. The characters, what they are going through, etc., etc., all that starts even while you are laughing. So it's a beautifully written screenplay, and uh, while the drama unfolds, you realize that these three writers, Nikhil Mehrotra, Ashwini Iyer Tiwari, and Nitesh Tiwari, have really seen life from very close quarters and are very sensitive people because that sensitivity comes across in the screenplay. As I said in the beginning, it's a fantastic screenplay, and it offers everything for every age group. Whether you're a child or a grown-up or an adult or an old person, whether you're rich or poor, whether you're a girl or a boy, whether you are a class audience or a mass audience, you find that there is something, there is plenty of things for you in the screenplay. One more point: special mention must be made of the climax of Panga. The climax is so beautiful. It's a nail-biting climax. It's a very exciting climax, and at the end of which, you would probably start clapping, and the weak-hearted would also find themselves crying. Tears will just roll down your cheeks because it is such a nail-biting and exciting and exhilarating climax. And the dialogues are to die for. Such outstanding dialogues that uh, oftentimes, because the scenes are so funny, because the scenes are so good, and because the dialogues are so weighty. You just realize that you have started clapping, clapping in glee, clapping out of joy, clapping because you're delighted. So overall, it's a fantastic script, beautifully, beautifully written, and the characterizations are so strong and so wonderful. There are five or six main characters, and each character goes according to what he or she is right from the start till the end. There's no change or shift in characterization, and therefore you realize that the writers have done their homework beautifully. After the script, let's discuss the performances. Kangana Ranaut, what a fine actress! After watching this film, you realize that nobody, no other Bollywood actress, could have done what Kangana Ranaut has done in this film. She is outstanding as an actress. She plays Jaya Nigam to the core. Whether as a working housewife, as a mother, or then as a kabaddi player, she is swell. Her transformation, loss of weight, etc., etc., is so. Evident that you marvel at her genius, at her brilliance, and at the hard work that went behind this role. 
So in short, this is an award-winning performance for Kangana Ranaut. Jassi Gill as her husband, Prashant Sajdeva, is outstanding. He's very endearing and not in one scene does he try to hog the limelight. Obviously, he knows that the story belongs to Kangana Ranaut and he lets her take the limelight, but he lends fabulous support as her husband. A wonderful performance by Jassi Gill. Master Yagya Bhaseen as Little Adi is first rate. You know, oftentimes in Hindi films, we've seen kids who are smart, who are very smart, and you get irritated at them. You want to slap them because they speak like they are grown-up adults. In this film, Adi is that child who's a very smart child. He often mouths dialogues which only adults would. But not once do you want to slap him. In fact, every time you see him, you want to pick him up in your arms and hug him and kiss him. He is superb, outstanding performance by him. Then there is Richa Chadha as Meenu, who is uh, Jaya Nigam's friend and also a Kabaddi player herself. She has lent extraordinary support. What a fine actress and what a natural actress. Nina Gupta in a small role, she plays Jaya Nigam's mother, that is Kangana Ranaut's mother. In a small role also, she makes her presence beautifully felt. Rajesh Telang as the Indian women's Kabaddi team coach is first rate. Swita Dwivedi as the Kabaddi team captain and Megha Barman as Jaya Nigam's roommate, they lend very good support. Others, of course, there are many other actors because there are so many more characters and all of them have done their jobs beautifully. One special mention has to be made about uh, the casting director. The casting of the film is so perfect that the casting director needs to be lauded. Coming to the direction and other technical aspects, this one is directed by Ashwini Ayyar Tiwari and must say her direction is Superb. Very sensitive handling of the subject and whether it is the family drama or the sports portions, she has handled all of them with utmost care and sensitivity and therefore in the process made a film that's a wholesome entertainer. It gives you comedy, it gives you moments to laugh, it gives you moments to rejoice, it gives you tear-jerking scenes, it gives you exhilarating scenes, it gives you tension, moments of tension. Overall, it's a complete package. So Ashwini Ayer Tiwari needs to be praised for a job beautifully done. The music is by Shankar Esan Loy and the lyrics are by Javed Akhtar. And although none of the songs is a chart buster, the songs go very well with the mood of the film and with the characterizations. And therefore, credit to Shankar Esan Loy and especially Javed Akhtar for very weighty lyrics. And the background music by Sanchit Balhara and Ankit Balhara is swell. Very beautiful background music, which heightens the impact of the scenes. Jay Patel's cinematography is very good. He's captured the characters and the drama beautifully in his camera. Salam's action scenes are very well choreographed. And Sandeep Meher's production designing is very appropriate to the film. Ballu Saluja's editing is super sharp, super crisp. So overall, Panga is a box office winner. Of course, it hasn't started too well, but the word of mouth will be positive and therefore the film will, or the film's collections will definitely pick up and ultimately it will prove to be a box office winner. Friends, please go to the comment section and post your comments about how you've liked our review of Panga. And if you've already seen the film, please also do let us know through your comments how you've liked the film. Thank you. And yes, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Film Information.